Hello everyone, welcome to WeBotDev Academy, I am Pavan and today I am very excited to let you know that I am again started a new series on Project IDX which is one of the biggest competitor of Visual Studio Code. So here is one Instagram account which I was browsing through and here I saw a post that goodbye to VS Code and uh, when I scrolled uh, the post carousel, I can see Google recently announced its competitor to VS Code and the name of that competitor is Project IDX. So what is the biggest thing about Project IDX? So the biggest thing about Project IDX is that Project IDX is hosted on Google Cloud and offers a cloud-based development environment. So this is the most important thing of this ID IDE. So in most of the cases, when we develop our web applications or maybe the mobile applications or whenever we do our programming, then the speed of our development is totally dependent on the infrastructure of the computer that we are using. Let's say if we you, if we are making a web application on i3 processor, it will take a lot of time as compared to the computer uh, with i7 processor. Again, if we want to start app development using any framework like Flutter or maybe React, especially in case of Flutter, if we want to start our journey and we don't have a high or a high CPU uh, computer like i5 or i7, in that case, I will get a lot of issues to install the Flutter framework, to install all the tools and Android Studio, maybe the, to run the emulators. Okay, so it creates a lot of chaos, a lot of problem and Project IDX will solve all this problem all at once because now, if you want to become a web developer or a mobile developer, you don't need a high performance computer. You just need a computer, a simple computer with Google Chrome installed and you need a Google account and you have to log into Project IDX. And since Project IDX is hosted on Google Cloud, so the speed of your code or the speed of the program or the emulator which will be running on this IDE will be totally dependent on the cloud environment. So that's the magic thing about this ID. It's totally free of cost. So we don't have to pay anything as of now, but there is a limitation of creating some projects, uh, which is five, decent enough. And let me see the other feature of Project IDX. So here, Project IDX incorporates AI models like Kodi and Pantu, which is again, one of the very important thing, which provide intelligent code completion. So you don't have to type all the codes one by one. If you type two or three pattern of the code, it will give you the complete set of code which will save your time. Because I have also checked this thing by creating one simple application. Uh, whenever I have written two or three lines of that application, the entire program has been given. Okay, so uh, the small program has been given by the uh, uh, models like Kodi or Pam2. Next, community driven. Project IDX adopts an open source approach, so it will again be a help for us for all the web and mobile application developers. And integration with powerful tools, which means that it integrates tightly with GitHub for seamless project management and collaboration. And it is totally cloud-based environment, which I have already explained. The cloud-based nature of Project IDX allows uh, computations to be run on servers, providing a fast and responsive user experience, even with large code bases. So this is the magic of Google IDX or Google Project IDX. So let me now go to Google. And here I will search Project IDX. And let me hit enter. I need to click on Get Started. And then I have to log into this portal. Since I have already created an account, so I don't have to create an account again and again. You just have to log in with your Google ID. And then here I can see on the right hand side, uh, I can see one option which uh, which has been called as see all templates. If we click on see all templates, we can see that we can create web applications, backend, mobile applications, AI and ML applications, and miscellaneous applications using the project IDX. Now, let us see what can we do with web app. If we click on web app, we can create Angular, Next.js, Astro, React, Simple HTML. If we click on PHP, we can create Go, Python Flags, Node Express. Rust, Laravel, Django, framework of Python. If we click on mobile, we can see React and Flutter, though React is still in the experimental uh, phase now. If I click on 
AI and ML, I can see Gemini, uh, Gemini API, link chain with Gemini and Firebase Gen Kit. And if I click on miscellaneous, we can create one blank workspace and even we can create React and Google Map Platform. So let us now create a full stack application with this IDP. For that, I will have to go to uh, this search template. And in full stack, since we will use PHP and MySQL, we will be creating one full fledged PHP application within this IDE itself. So I will now search PHP and I can see Laravel and PHP here. I will be creating YouTube free course. So let us create one workspace and I am naming this workspace as YouTube free course. We will have to wait for some time till the entire workspace gets created and it's totally dependent on the load capacity of this server. Since this project is very new, okay, so it may take some time for the enter portal to get loaded. Okay, so I can see the enter portal has been loaded now. And the interface which I can see now is a bit familiar, right? Okay, so all these people who have used VS Code, okay, so this interface is same to same as compared to VS Code. If I just open the VS Code and click on any project, I can see the interface which I can see in Project IDS, IDX is same to same as VS Code. Just the only difference is here, we can see the terminal right in the top section. But if we have to use the terminal of Project IDX, then we have to create on this hamburger menu and then I have to click on terminal and then new terminal. All the options of file, edit, selection, view, go down, terminal, help can be, find, can be found in this hamburger menu. So as I have created one new file, so let us uh, go to, let us write uh, the PHP code once again. And here I will write hello world. And then let me close the statement. I'm saving the statement. And you can see some suggestions here. All right. I won't be doing anything now. And then to see the application in my browser, I have to click on this icon, Project IDX, and I will have to go down and just uh, in the bottom of the page, I can see the port which is being used here is 3000 and PID is 400. We don't have to do anything with the port and PID as of now. And I will click on this button, sorry, on this link and let us open this link. I can see Hello World is being displayed in this browser. So this is how we can create an application using Project IDX. So in the next video, I'll be showing you how to create the database inside the Project IDX and we will link MySQL database with this project in our next class. So guys, if you want to stay updated with all the latest updates and news about programming, then I would definitely recommend you to subscribe this uh, Instagram channel. We, the link of this channel will be given in the description itself. Uh, the name of the handle is self learn coder and I would also like to request you to subscribe to this channel called WeboTap because it takes a lot of time and effort to create meaningful videos like this. I have to do a lot of research at first before creating the videos. So please support me by subscribing this channel. Thank you. Let's meet in the next lecture.